this is Regina from Diary of a Psychic Healer. On Mondays, I'm streaming meditations on Instagram the next few months. So I'd invite you to settle, settle in, sit down, close your eyes. This meditation will last about 20 to 30 minutes. So if you can't do the whole thing right now, feel free to come back later. It will be saved on my wall. These meditations go with my books, Chakra Healing and Magic, and A Personal Guide to Self-Healing, Cancer, and Love. And the idea is to work with energy healing to activate your intuition, to clear your energy field, to relax, and to start to connect with your angels and your higher self. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'd invite you to sit with your feet on the floor and your back straight. Inhaling and exhaling gently. You're going to see and feel as a wave of white light comes down from above. It comes in through the ceiling, washes through the walls, clearing all of the space around you. With every deep breath, you feel that wave of white light flowing through your physical body, your aura. Your feet relax, your ankles relax, your legs relax. And you start to take slower, deep breaths. Today we're going to be working with Archangel Uriel, who's the angel of Earth. He helps you connect with your inner light and shine it brightly in the world. And he also helps us heal behaviors that sabotage us, our happiness, and that create imbalances in the world. We always follow the same steps when we're activating our intuition. And you'll find these steps in my books and in these meditations. Bring your attention to your heart chakra and you visualize it being illuminated with white or gold light. With every breath, that light shines a little bit brighter. You're going to see and feel as that white and gold light starts to radiate through your physical body, filling every cell in your body with energy. And at the same time, you visualize and feel the chakras on the bottoms of your feet opening up. You're going to imagine tree roots coming out of the bottoms of your feet into the ground. Those roots go through layers and layers of rock, dirt, lava, deep into the earth. You're going to imagine a crystal candle in the center of the earth. It might be an amethyst, a clear quartz. And you see and feel the flame on top. This is a pilot light that we switch on to activate the abundance, the prosperity, the healing in the universe and in the physical world. And you're going to imagine that your roots go down towards that crystal and you start to feel its energy. Liquid light starts to flow up from the center of the earth through your grounding roots, going through layers and layers of dirt, rock, lava, until it reaches the bottom of your feet, your ankles flowing up through your legs. You're going to see that candle reflected 
in your root chakra at the bottom of the spine. The brighter your root chakra shines, a glowing red disc, the brighter that candle in the center of the earth. You continue to breathe slowly, deeply, feeling the element of fire in your physical body, in your aura. You continue to inhale and exhale gently. And after a few more minutes, we're going to bring our attention back to the heart chakra. Bringing that flame into your heart chakra, in the center of your chest. This energy of fire warms you up from the inside. The energy of the crystals ground you. And the melting wax from the candle helps to soften your physical body, your emotional body. You're going to let any stress or tension melt off your body, flowing to the center of the earth. You can be assured that Mother Nature is going to recycle that energy that you're releasing. so that it can be activated for somebody else's higher and highest good. We continue to breathe deeply, slowly. Now that we've firmly grounded ourselves in Mother Nature, you're going to imagine and feel that a very bright white light comes down from the highest levels in the universe. As it comes down, it starts to change color going through all of the colors in the rainbow, purple, blue, pink, yellow, orange, green, red. And eventually it approaches you, entering through the roof, and flowing in through your crown chakra in a prism of colors, passing through your brow, your throat, your heart, and it continues to flow downwards through your abdomen, clearing your digestive system and releasing any stress from your digestive system. It flows through your heart, your lungs, all of your organs. And it goes down out the bottom of your spine and it continues to flow into the earth. You see and feel as multiple rays of white light and gold light flow through your aura, coming down from above and also flowing back to front, clearing your energy field. You maintain your connection with the center of the earth and with that crystal candle. And you're going to feel that that pilot light switches off and switches on again, shining through your seven energy centers, your root chakra at the bottom of your spine, activating your sense of community, belonging. This switches on and off in your sacral chakra, which is the orange energy center under your belly button clearing, healing, and balancing your emotional body and your emotional life. And it starts to flicker in your solar plexus chakra, in your upper abdomen, where your rib cages meet. And here you're going to imagine a red or yellow sun that shines through you. 
And that sun is going to burn through any concepts of who you are in the world, what you stand for, what you're good for, what you're not good for. You open your solar plexus to receive all of your soul's light, your creativity, your intuition, releasing any limits that you've placed on yourself and also any limits that you've placed on others. We continue to breathe deeply, inhaling and exhaling gently. And that gold light continues to flow through your heart chakra, sending rays of light out in all directions. And at the same time, you're going to imagine and feel that that candle activates in your brow chakra, your third eye, releasing any thoughts about the world, your place in it, how you view the world and how you view others. Your whole physical body starts to relax. Your emotional body starts to relax. You feel your shoulders relax, your back, your hips, your thighs. And you start to take deeper, longer breaths. Archangel Uriel is with you now, shining his light in your aura. You may see this as gold light, white light, it's a very strong, warming energy. You're going to ask that he start working primarily on your heart chakra, which is where we hold empathy, compassion, the ability to give and receive and also to multiply. You feel that feel the energy of peace flowing through your heart chakra. A window of light opens in your heart and your heart is activated with the ability to see through the darkness, through the turmoil, through the struggle. And to see happiness, harmony and possibilities on the other side of anything that we go through. You continue to breathe deeply, taking both of your hands to your heart chakra, which is in the center of your chest, with your palms facing inward. And you start to feel a current of light and energy that comes down from above to your heart, and then also up from the center of the earth to your heart. And you start to activate and grow that flame in your heart chakra. All the while feeling that energy of peace. The window that connects you with divine light or light that comes down from above through your heart. And also the ability to be firmly grounded in the physical world and to be able to see through the darkness or see in the darkness that surrounds us. You inhale and exhale gently. And you continue to breathe at your own rhythm. The light that flows from your hands into your heart goes down through your physical body, out the bottoms of your feet into the ground. You're going to anchor it beneath you in an energy center or chakra that's known as the Earth Star Chakra. And it can be found maybe 10 to 12 inches under your feet near the bottom of your aura. 
It connects you with nature, with rivers, with mountains, with the physical world. And it's also your connection with that source of light, that candle in the center of the planet. You continue to inhale and exhale. Asking Archangel Uriel to fill your aura and your physical body with love, with compassion, with luminosity. And you're going to send ripples of kindness and happiness out to everyone who needs it in the world. You can see and feel as this energy flows through your energy field, through your aura, through your heart, to anyone that needs it. It's like you're opening a tap or a faucet for water to flow through. You bring your hands back down to your legs with the palms facing upwards and you feel that energy flowing through you, that healing energy to people that you know, to people that you don't know, to our online and real life communities. And we're going to sit here in silence for three minutes, inhaling and exhaling gently. As you visualize a shower of white and gold light flowing through you. Continue to breathe deeply. Your throat chakra relaxes. Your whole physical body relaxes. And you're going to ask that Archangel Uriel cancels, clears, and deletes any narratives, interpretations, ideas that keep you from experiencing all of your worth and all of your light in the world, everything that you are and everything that you have to offer. We continue to breathe gently, softly. Intending for that light and that healing to reach people all over the world that we're connected with, even if we don't know it. Maybe 15 people, 20 people, 30 people, a thousand people. However many you can send light to based on your current energy capacity. And you feel as a lot of that love circles back to you. Recycled, refreshed, new. You visualize your connection with the center of the earth, with that candle, that crystalline candle. You're going to stay primarily with your heart chakra and your third eye or brow chakra, feeling that candle flame reflected in your heart and your third eye. Releasing anything that no longer serves you, anything that makes you smaller, or that keeps you stuck in a rut. 
We inhale and exhale deeply. You thank Archangel Uriel for this healing, and you send all of that energy into the center of the planet, releasing it from your energy body. And finally, we're going to connect with a shower of rainbow light that comes down from above, which is impulsed by Archangel Raziel, who I posted about a few days ago. He's an angel that helps us heal on many different levels. He brings the qualities of peace, clarity, and excitement into our lives. A little bit of a mystic, a little bit of a wizard. And he brings lots of wisdom too. Raziel is going to fill your heart chakra with lots of light. You're going to let it flow to wherever you need it, in your physical body, in your energy centers, in your aura, or to any part of your life, to your ancestors, to your childhood. And he cuts away any veils of illusion, filling your heart with clarity and with power. That energy filters down to your solar plexus in the upper abdomen, continues to flow down to your sacral chakra, your emotional energy center under the belly button, and it flows down through your root chakra, down your legs, out the bottoms of your feet, into the ground. You continue to breathe slowly, deeply, Thanking Raziel and Archangel Uriel for this healing, two of my favorite angels. The angels step back, exiting your aura, your energy field. And we're going to start to close down. You visualize one last wave of energy and white light coming down from above, rinsing the room, rinsing your aura, rinsing your physical body, and it goes into the earth. Your aura goes back to its normal size, which is an arm's length above you, below you, to the left, to the right, around you. You keep your attention on your heart chakra in the center of your physical body or in your chest. And you're going to see and feel as one last ray of white light comes down from above, entering through your crown chakra. Your crown chakra switches off, and you're going to place a gold star on top of your crown chakra to protect its energy. That white light continues to travel down. Your third eye switches off, and you place a gold star front and back to shield your third eye. Your throat chakra switches off and you place a gold star front and back to protect your throat. Your heart chakra switches off and you place a green, gold or pink star front and back to shield your heart. This is to shield your intuition your sensitivity. The yellow sun in your upper abdomen, your solar plexus chakra becomes a little bit smaller so that it fits in your physical body. And you place a gold disc front and back to shield your personal energy field and your sense of power. You activate it with a star, filling it with happiness. Your sacral chakra, that orange energy center under your abdomen, under your belly button, also switches off. You place a gold disc of light front and back, and then you activate it 
with a star shielding and activating its energy at the same time. And then finally, you bring your attention down to your root chakra at the bottom of your spine. This one is always illuminated bright red to connect you with Mother Nature. You're going to let it become a little bit smaller in size. And then you fill it with white and gold light for shielding. And finally, your aura is completely rinsed and the angels are going to surround you with white light, violet light and gold light to shield your aura. And what this does is it turns, turns down your intuition so that you're less sensitive to emotions and stress around you. And you can go about your daily life with compassion, but without too much intuitive sensitivity. We thank the angels one more time. We connected with Archangels Uriel and Raziel today. But Archangel Michael is always close by who's the first one that we learn to connect with in these meditations. And each of the angels helps us to grow in a different way. So I'd invite you to go back and listen to previous meditations, to read my book, Chakra Healing and Magic, so that you can work through your emotions with creative techniques, with energy healing, and connect with the angels or with your intuition in a more direct way. This is Regina Choza from Diary of a Psychic Healer, and I'll see you next Monday. Hope you enjoyed this.